welcome once again to the channel so in the background i've got a bit of a project for 2024 so next year i'm looking towards building a complete refinery mainly because i've got a huge amount of uh, tanker rolling stock that i would like to use in a layout somewhere now i'm going to do a bit of an unboxing in this video to show you the kits that i've got that i would like to build next year and um, yeah so it's going to be a complete build it's not like the previous videos on the channel where i show you what i've already built and take you on a tour through it this is going to be a starting from scratch and then building the whole layout so i've never done this before um, a build video i mean so this is going to be a first this might take some time i'm starting work again next week oh yay and um, one can't believe how quickly the holiday is gone so this is going to be a couple of videos to build this refinery um, i've had a look at some pictures about the refineries to see the weathering and so on and how the layout looks like but that could still change um, i still need to build the kits that i'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes to see what the sizes of the layout is going to be and how the tracks will need to be placed to make sense in the end but let's get into it wanting to build this refinery i've got a couple of kits of which three of them still needs to be assembled they've been sitting on my shelf for quite some time and um, first off I've got this one from Hornbeam which is a condenser towel and water and washer the washer I've already used I'm just gonna open this up here to show you guys what it looks like oops seems like the box is already falling apart and this is actually quite a nice little model so the washer I've already used on one of my previous layouts. It's quite a nice pre-built. Very, really, really nice detail to it. So I'll work this in somehow into the whole refinery setup. Just put this out of the way here quickly. Then I've got a Volma kit, which is a, well, a refinery, okay. Look. I've had this for a while, I haven't even opened this one in any time. Alright, let's have a look at the plans over here. Yeah, looks like quite a bit of a detailed little build here I'm not quite sure what this is it looks like they've got some paper stickers I'm not always it might have been those self adhesive stickers I'll see if I can work that, in, that into it somehow these must be all the things that you assemble Quite a bit of parts here. Yeah. I've got a shell sticker. Not even sure how this works into it. Since all of the others are a roll. I just want to have a look at what the final work is going to look like. I will need to airbrush all of this. Um, not quite. Uh, this looks like all the ladders and gantries that goes with it. There's the ladders, the countries, some more stickers. Okay. We'll get into that one also. I think this one is going to be the first one that I'll actually build to see what it looks like. Just put everything back here quickly. Oop. It's quite a few parts here. Yeah. 
Then I've got my beauties that I've got quite a while ago. First of them being a Fala kit. Now, I'm not sure which one has got the more parts of it. But this one is going to be a beautiful one. I know it somewhere says. Yeah, you can see that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. And this one's got 477 single parts in five colors. <laughs> oh, goody. Good heavens, look here. Yeah. I bought this second hand from a online bidding store called Bid or Buy, which is in South Africa. And um, there's the building plans. I like Fala's building plans. They're always nice. You can follow them quite easily. Ooh, I can see this is going to be a bit of a challenge to build here. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, and they also have the paper-like stickers. It looks like paper-like stickers. Oh no, this is a actual stickers. Oh, okay. It's much better than the Volmo one. Oh my goodness, and they are parts galore here. I'll keep the blue, which is actually the oral colors, but I think uh, I've got some Vallejo uh, aluminum paint that I will do all the gray with. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna un unpack this whole thing. There is like parts here forever. Well, this is gonna be a nice one to, I like a challenge. This is gonna be a nice one to build. And I'll show you how I'm build this hopefully on a video that's sort of fast forward into the whole building of everything so I'm gonna repack everything here all right I'm just gonna move this over to the side back it up nicely later and then the last one is the big boy it's also a follow unit and I think it's um, part of the previous one this is the previous one is the uh, can't quite see the number for the previous one okay. yes it's usually a number here somewhere oh well these are the big tanks and i think there's three of them yeah there's three of them two big ones and the smaller one this one has 417 parts to it. Okay, so it's much bigger. Look what's in here. Ooh. There's some actually quite nice stickers here. So these decals are going to look nice. I'm not sure. It looks like they are transparent in some way. I'll have to figure out on which of the tanks they are going. Got the building plans over here. So very nice detailed plans to this one also. Oh, just to give you an idea. Now that is the work that's gonna go on some of the piping. <laughs> Yay. Luckily I've got some nice glue to do this with. Oh man, look at this. This is very, very fine detail. Let's wanna have a look at what the big tanks look like. Oh, look here. Yeah. And half pieces. Okay. It's the first time that I'm assembling one of these. So I'm wondering, do they just... Oh, it looks like they're just gonna fit in there. Okay, well, well, we'll figure that out when we get to it. And this has got to be the tops of it. It's down here. Oh my good even see it's still He just actually moved. So I'll the first thing that I'll need to do is I'll, I'll need to build everything and then I've seen the sizes that they give here which is actually quite big. But I'll have to see how large the layout's gonna be 
um, so that I can decide on how much wood I need to get to build the whole base that this has got to go on. I've been wanting to build this because I've got a huge amount of rolling stock for for this type of layout and um, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I build each and every part the airbrushing what I do and how I assemble the whole thing it's going to be a couple of parts of videos because this is gonna take some time to build and this won't be in one sitting otherwise um, the production is gonna take forever to do but yeah um, <laughs> this is a project for the for the new year so we're gonna get into that in the new year so if you subscribe and you can have a look at how i built this and um, yeah i'll get some input from you guys and see what i should do and how we should go about building this i got a hand on some of my rolling stock there's still a couple of pieces somewhere in a box that i can't get find right now uh, these rolling stock is what's going to go onto the layout i've also got my two seco models which is our old tanker trucks and then i've also got a nice little shell tanker truck so this is definitely going to be in a roll refinery um, you did see that i found one shell sticker in the volmer box but i don't think i'm gonna make a mix up of businesses here i'll just keep to everything being with the RL. Although the tankers are from different companies, I'll stick with one company. Well, that's it guys. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop me a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.